Hello, it's Unk here, and welcome back to another episode of Clan Folk. You know what the interesting thing about this episode of Clan Folk is? It's the episode that I uploaded with uh, no audio. So what I'm going to attempt to do for you is I'm going to attempt to actually comment on the old, on the video track and add a little bit of context to what's going on. Oh, I can't actually see what's going on because I'm, I'm blind. Okay, right, so basically I'm talking about um, what I'm planning to do for the day. And I think what I'm planning to do today is collect loads of mushrooms. So the day's obviously started off. Um, yep. Uh, and then we are, uh, where are we going? What are we doing? I don't know. I'm just looking at people. That cat is mine. That's what I'm saying. I'm very impressed by that cat. And also now I'm looking at the uh, the beast enclosure and saying, oh, you know what? I think I should make something to help the beasts live through the cold, harsh winter. Because uh, I've actually reviewed this. I was going to put subtitles in this video, crazy enough. So what I've decided to do here is I am thinking, oh, you know what? We can uh, we can build a fireplace for the, um, for the actual... Um, the cows but I'm the what I'm planning to do is inset it into the wall so it's got like a nice little um alcove so it won't spit burning embers and set fire to all the cows beds and things like that all the all the sheeps and the, the things beds um I'm not sure what I'm doing actually over here I have no idea it's all very dark though I don't know if this was me on the actual video I'd probably be putting predator vision on I'm um, also ah, what I'm saying is everything is red exclamation marks and I should probably sort this out during the winter which is the plan to sort all this stuff out during the winter um yeah so it's good it's it's lovely Psst. looking at my houses over here to see what's going on with the actual stuff. Oh, and what I was thinking, I need to make more um, cloaks because winter's coming. I need to make some more stuff. So what I actually do here, I was looking at the price of fur cloaks and go, God, it's eight fur for a fur cloak. It's ridiculous. But anyway, now I'll come back. Now that bit of um, hole is dinked in the wall and I am going to place a, uh, there we go. Come on, Ugg, past Ugg gonna put a stone fireplace in there and I'm gonna to struggle to actually put it on the wall correctly because you know skills it's like yeah uh, there you go right and then I put it in there and I suddenly realized that that's actually gonna spit um spit um embers all over the um bedding so I'm gonna dig the hole slightly deeper and then prioritize it up to maximum because everything has to be done at maximum priority. And then we set a little uh, non-fire zone. So when it's finally done, we'll actually have a little non-ember zone. Also, it's getting light now, which is cool. Looking at the amount of money we've got, because it's coming to the point where I worry about money because it's coming up to a new day and all the workers want to be paid. Oh, they set the light up. That's kind of them. Will's digging a digging a hole, hole in the ground. Well, hole in the hole in the um the room. And I'm talking about like the priority of the beds now, just sort of like and how how we got to make sure the bedding's okay and just checking the roof is on so it's actually a room because I'm worrying about the um the cows and things for the winter. There we go. That went on a lot easier, didn't it? And now I think I've just noticed that we've got no, um, I've got no iron. <laughs> and then I said, oh, look, we're actually making some iron. So that should be pretty good. Then I, 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 I do pay an unusual amount of interest to the cat. But now I'm like, oh, what are we going to do? More jobs. So uh, like I say, it's, it's mushroom season. So I'm going to go get loads and loads of mushrooms. Like an insane person. Uh, and also branches, because I look at the number of branches. We've only got like 325, and I want branches for fires and things during the winter. I suddenly become very conscious that we don't have much in the way of um, branches. So I'm going to set it up to that. And then I think, uh, you know what? Maybe cut some trees down. That probably changed my mind. You know me. You, you've met me before. <laughs> very scatty gameplay, as always. Right. Um, also, checking out these things, seeing how much food is in there, and going, oh, 11 eggs. That's handy. I don't remember buying 11 eggs. Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, and now me looking at um, Christian and wondering when Christian will become an adult, and then looking at the um, the trading bit. So obviously, I'm trying to get some money together because I just want. And then I go, do I buy a billy goat? And I'm like, I I reject the concept of a billy goat. I'm like, nope. 
no, not going to buy a billy goat. No, no, no. And now I look and see. I'm, I'm still contemplating the billy goats because I'm thinking, do I I'll buy one? Do I sell one? And now I'm basically just trying to work out what the hell to sell. I'm like, is any of this stuff worth any money? And I think, oh, you know what? I can sell a bunch of bark. I don't really have a great need for bark. And it gets it off the floor and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm thinking, do we sell sacks? And let's sell them a couple of sacks. A sack, actually. And they don't really want much more. And then I go for the greatest question of all up in a second. You'll see me debating it in a second. Uh, but we go check out and see what the next trader's got. And I'm, then I'm confused because I'm like, oh, Christian, isn't that my, the name of my character? And I realise that more than one person in the world can have the same name. And also, I'm now pointing out that I'm trying to make a nice area for the traders to stay in when they're staying so it's like a little room I've made for them anyway now I think what else and I'm like oh you know what? I'll buy some meat because I like meat and then I'm thinking do I sell my linen and I come to the terrible question of all do I sell my cat for 225 and I'm like I'm tempted I'm tempted I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm like oh bark do I sell I've sold them some poo Oh no, did I sell them poo? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm like, oh, there's another trader. Let's see what this other trader's got and see what they will buy. And I'm thinking, you know what? I can I could probably sell them some bricks. I think I think I sell them bricks. I can't remember. Oh, I sell them some poo. This is the one I sell some poo to. Fertilizer. And I'm like, oh, I like the meat. Checking out my chicken collection. Do I sell my chickens? I like my chickens too much. I don't want to sell my tiles either, but I do. Because, I don't know, past Doug. And I think, you know what, I can sell some tools. Because tools are worth quite a bit of money. And then I like to like 601 and I think, do I buy a cow? And I'm like, let's buy a cow. Because, <laughs> you know, cows are cool. And then I sell them some more tools to try and like, to try and get as much of their money as possible. Because I'm trying to save up for the winter. Like, financially. And I'm up to like that much money. Because I know, I know my staff costs a lot of money every every day yeah there you go so then I ask everyone to leave so like, please leave the village I'm not going to employ another worker I've got too many workers as it is so I boot everyone out oh yeah but I do say pick up the goddamn meat you're leaving it on the floor and then I go for a little bit of a tidying phase here, I think. <laughs> you know what I get like with the tidying on the floor, just people leaving junk all over the floor. And then I'm thinking, oh God, are you actually going to make that goddamn iron yet? And then they, they finally do. And I check out that I'm actually still flagging this for mining, but I want it done a little bit faster because I see that we're running low on iron. And now I check out the... Um, the mushrooms think, why aren't you being harvested? And then I'm going to reprioritize the gathering skills. It's good that I remember all this stuff, isn't it? It was only yesterday or two days ago. My memory isn't that bad. So I've, I've prioritized it. And now I'm looking for people who like gathering, people who don't like gathering. You don't like gathering, so we're going to push it right down. But he does like hunting, or she likes hunting, so we're going to push it up. And I intend to do a bit of hunting. Yeah, a little bit of hunting because hunting is uh, obviously a good source of food coming up to the winter. We get some meat. This person loves to cook, so we're gonna like stick cooking as their priority. They really like to cook, don't they? Not everyone likes something three smiley faces like. I wish I had something in my life I like three smiley faces. Now we're looking for things to hunt. I'm gonna set a rabbit and prioritize it maximum because. If you aren't prioritizing things maximum, are you living at all? Then I'm having a look at me cow. <laughs> Uh, it's, I'm going, oh, milk. It's going to make some milk in a bit. That's nice. And it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty good adult cow. But I do need to get myself a bigger cow. Another cow. A male cow. That's what you call them. How now, male cow? So um, I'm sort of looking around going like, mushrooms. And then, and then I'm like, oh, cat. Come back, cat friend. I'm just kind of drinking a coffee now in real life. It's much more chilled than actually playing. And now I'm making sure that we're just selecting more branches. 
I'm putting the priority of the branch collecting up because I want more branches. I, I, we've only got like, what, 200? I can't even see what that is. You could probably see it better than me. It's quite small. Just on my on my OBS screen, it does look a bit small. And I'm thinking, oh Lord, if we're going to collect loads of mushrooms, how many mushrooms have we got? I'm look, looking at the racks thinking, storing mushrooms. We've got dried mushrooms. Well, they, dry, they were dried mushrooms, yeah. Wondering why the hell hasn't this been done yet. But also noting that this chap is cleverly travelling along the path. And then it's like, yay, we've tamed another cat. So just checking out to see where we got enough cat beds. Turns out we do have enough cat beds for everyone to live, which is nice. Pick up a bit of straw. <laughs> and I'm just double checking that all this is actually starting to get processed. And then I'm, then I'm checking out and seeing whether they're wearing cloaks or not and seeing what clothes they're wearing because they're obviously I don't want them to get wet but now I'm just checking all this stuff out it's like uh, you're wearing plaid and, and leather which isn't really helping so I'm like how's it going are we going to be making some stuff and this is where I actually check out the coat so what I decide to do I'm going to decide probably later on to make a bunch of sackcloth coats because whilst or no uh, cloaks whilst they're 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 not the best and comfortable in the world, will keep you the warmest. They do keep the rain off, which is probably better to have people rainproof than in the winter and snowproof, presumably, than um, than uh, than dying of freezing cold, <laughs> of hypothermia. And it's just a guess. You don't really want cold, wet people in wandering around. And now I'm going crazy for the mushrooms. This is where mushroom production goes into overdrive. Oh yeah, mushroom. And then I'm looking at the uh, things and going, God damn, fresh hide. It's gone rotten. Checking out my, um, my ra rattling. And going, things are still getting rattled. It's important. And then I'm looking around going god, god damn how many twigs have we got in this twig pile yeah oh there's like a little muddy path that's cool like where the people walk a lot there's like a little mudded path that's been trampled it's kind of formed naturally it's cool right also my brain skips around in retrospect god damn i skip around sorry everyone i can't help it <laughs> Now I decide that um, I want to improve the quality of the toilets, so I'm going to put in some roof, some better roofs. Uh, and I decide that, you know what, we're putting in a hay roof here and we'll make a little roof here. And then I go a little bit more crazy. I'm like, oh, you know, we can make these toilets even better, even better. So I'm like, OK, no, no, we'll, we'll come and do that. Or I will make them better in a minute, obviously. You know, also I look at the amount of food and go, yay, 10 days food. All right, and now I decide mushroom production must be prioritized. So I, you know, the mushrooms must flow. Now I'm looking for a mushroom rack. I'm like, yep, keep doing. Now we've got to a bit of a mushroom situation now where I think we've got more mushrooms um, in storage than we have. I don't know though, maybe we don't. I don't think we've got a thousand mushrooms in storage. We've got 671 dried mushrooms, which is cool. But like I say, it's um, I want to just make sure it's okay. What the hell am I doing now? I don't know. Who knows what Ugg's doing? Oh, I'm getting more mushroom racks. So obviously I've decided that I'm, I'm gathering all the mushrooms, but I want to try and dry them as quickly as possible. So I figured if I expand the amount of mushroom drying capacity we have, that will make us even more food for the winter. We've got storage. And now me mulling that and going, why aren't you made? Do we have enough clay to make it? And I'm like, yeah, we got enough clay. Yeah, yeah, we definitely have enough clay there. And, and I'm like looking at the iron and going, yeah, we got iron. And now looking back over here and going, what the hell is the plates doing in the corner there? And then just checking out the, the, the sort of like the food scenario. I'm feeling quite proud of the just just, just how many mushrooms I've gathered. They're really good mushrooms. I've got to make sure to gather them every, every winter. Yep. 
It's like mushrooms, mushrooms everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Mushrooms, mushrooms everywhere. Actually, and not a mushroomy drop to drink. All right. Doing there, Ugg. Who knows? What are you going for? What are you going for, Ugg? Oh, we're going to see. I think it was a little experiment to see what you get as a result of chopping down tree chunks. Because I couldn't remember. I think you're going to get like. I don't know if you get logs. I think you might just get branches and then like mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> mushroom. Prioritize that mushroom. I know what I'm going to do here. It's like. Eventually. Mushroom. Right. I am mushroom obsessed right now. As you can see, I am mushroom. I'm like, must inspect the mushrooms more. See? Mushrooms. <laughs> I told you it's mushroom season. <laughs> mushroom madness in a, in a video. Oh my God. Let's keep on going. Yep, these things are filling out. Now I check out this and go, we've got space for storage. I'm like, why have we got two raw fish here? And the answer is, I don't know. And I think, oh, you know what this place needs? It needs more storage cupboards. Because this is like a cold storage. So I'm going to put like auxiliary food in there. There you go. There's a little path and I'm like, mushrooms on the floor. There's mushrooms on the floor. Yeah, yeah, there's mushrooms on the floor. Hmm. And I'm like, are you going to make more grain? Have we got grain pallet? Th this room is a mess as well in the middle. I do feel like I should make a, a room for like wood cutting and stuff like that. So they go in there so the wood chips don't fly everywhere. It's, it's not great though. And now I'm like, more mushrooms. Because the mushrooms are getting left in the rain. I think it's raining, yeah. So we leave the mushroom. We're leaving the mushrooms out. And that is not what I want. I don't want all these mushrooms left out. There's like 38 of them. And that's like that's quite a bit of food for the old for the old villagers. Yep, it's a lot of food. Not quite sure what I'm thinking now. What's going on in the brain? I've got to, you know, doing this in retrospect, it's a little bit hard to tell what's going on inside my brain. I barely know what's going on inside my brain when I've actually got a chain of thought coming on. I'm still inspecting coats and seeing whether people, I'm like, God damn rain. But then I'm like, you don't actually, you're not actually one of my villagers, are you? So that's why I'm like, oh, that's not why you're not wearing my lovely, lovely coats. And now we're making tunics and we're making more stuff and cleaning the hide. I suddenly realized we, we weren't cleaning hide. And I'll probably notice some of that um, that meat up there in a sec. I'll be like, why, why, aren't you, why aren't you doing stuff with this meat? Hopefully I'll notice. I might not notice. I've noticed it now. It's annoying. And I look at the fur cloaks and go, God damn, I do want one of those. I wish it were possible to make like a waterproof leather coat or leather cloak. Sad times, people. I'm trying to work out what the hell I do here. And I, then I think I go, oh, you know, sackcloth, cloaks, blocks, rain. I think. I think I'd do it. <laughs> I don't know. Then I look at my uh, my hides and go, oh, God damn. And then and then looking at the fresh hide, I'm sure I become inspired for a second. I'm like, God damn, it's fresh hides, six of them in there, and they're not on the they're not in the drying rack. They're being like left out to go fallow, fall, fall. I can't say it, fall, fall, whatever. Get ruined. There you go. So prioritize that. So some dump, someone dumps it in there to actually be dried out. See, and then I I up the priority of the hide shaft and I go smoked fish please deal with the smoked fish don't leave it on the floor the cat will eat it I know it's a nightmare I'm like oh, bricks tiles 
can we not put them in a more orderly place? I get a little bit obsessed at this point. But please just do something with these things, you morons. And I'm back to the fireplace again. And I'm looking at the cow going, oh, it's a cow. <laughs> and it's not drinking water. Bastard. <laughs> and just checking out, why are you eating? If you're hungry, why aren't you eating? So I'll give, the, give it a little bit more priority there. And I think, oh, you know what? We should move that water trough and give the, the cows and the things more water. So I'll move the water trough in here because I'm, you know, I'm nice like that. I don't want my cows to die. And I'm like, what is going on? What do we need? Clay. See, I'm about to look at clay in a sec. Maybe not. I probably looked at clay and went, we've got enough clay. And I say, what does this guy do? girl I'm thinking we should tr probably try and get on and build these roofs so so it's actually looking okay I'm not sure how many days we've got we've got a couple of days of fall yet so whether I try and do building activities on this thing during the winter maybe I don't know whether winter is the best time to build stuff and I'm looking at the glorious supplies of mushrooms and wondering why this thing isn't full of mushrooms I see there my mushroom supply has gone up by 100 in today's episode and we're up to 13 days of food look at that 13 days of food and I'm wondering how do we make more mushrooms so I, I crank up the amount of volume on all the mushrooms here I remember what I'm doing here crank the volume up and then check the auto supply amount but then I like just crank it up crank up the mushrooms 300 there 300 there loads there and then go repeat 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 and re, re, no cancel it and repeat see <laughs> good old pasta he knows what he's up to right and then i go over here and it's like no didn't want to do that uh my uh, eat. just checking out the hydrac i don't quite know what it does and then go right no mushrooms oh we're not making more mushrooms check out things like this and go fur cloak I'm still obsessed with fur and they go look and repeat oh no and unrepeat and then repeat <laughs> and then look at this and go oh, what are we doing over here and then and then contemplate i think what's going on here and i'm like oh you're you're making food which is nice you've made a you've made a nice stew and then we check out the mushroom harvest again and go what are you up to and it turns out that what you're up to is you're actually making a roof, which is cool. So I, I sort of take back what I'm saying about negativity. And I'm wondering like, how warm is this room here? See, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm like, it's warm. So that's cool in case anyone stays in that room because I'm concerned about how good it's going to be. But turns out, okay. But I do want more of these rooms. I want to move people out of the double, double occupied rooms and just trying to get it sorted out. And I'm like, oh, we've got a guest. So the guest can have the rent. I'm more than happy to rent a room to a guest. We've got like 11, is it 11 days of food? And the mushrooms are going well. And I'm checking out the fishing. And, it, and it's, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with myself here. I'm like, because this is enough food to survive the winter, is it not? Dear viewers, if the winter is indeed 10 days long, I've got maths on my side. And I'm wondering, we've got to convert these goddamn dried mushrooms into, all these normal mushrooms into un, or to dried mushrooms. Very, very important. And I'm sad because there's a rabbit. It's like, ah, oh, we haven't turned you into food. And there's rats and rabbits. And I'm like, rubbish. Nice. And I, I, I say tidy up the poo as a priority. <laughs> I'll try and sort out the gone places a little bit, but they're not really sort outable. I don't think so. And then I celebrate because my fireplace, you know what? My fireplace has finally been built. Although my number of sticks has gone right down. And I'm checking out the temperature in here and it's like, oh, it's four degrees in here at the moment, which is not good. Because that's not, you know, winter isn't, winter isn't coming quite yet. No winter. Oh, 
Alright. What else was I thinking? Who knows? Oh, put more bedding in for more war, war animals. So this is like an animal sanctuary and that hopefully won't get set fire to. And I'm wondering, is the grain trough doing okay? Kind of is. And I'm now I'm looking at the grain, but it turns out I think that animals eat um, like hay, which would make more sense. And I'm like, what are you doing there, chum? Because it says it requires grain, but I don't know, I really know what that means. So make sure it's stocked up with grain. We've probably got a lot of grain. We've got a lot of straw, so screw it. Why not? And I get annoyed because I suddenly realise that these two bits of path have been around for absolutely forever. And um, I'm not happy that they're not actually done. And I'm like, where are you going, cow? You're going over there to eat the, the hay, I think? Yeah. See? There you go. Feed livestock in the winter. That's what it does. So they're they're off eating that hay. <laughs> Good. And then and then I'm checking out the toilets. It's not the best toilets in the world, but it's all cool. And I'm checking out the bathrooms. And going, is the bathrooms warm? Are they sufficiently, you know, cozy and snug? Maybe. I don't know. And I'm like going, ugh. They've not made this yet. So I decide to, as always, in a traditional UG manner, crank up the um, urgency on making these straw roofs. And then see are these people getting wet. And the answer is yes, they are, because they're in the rain and they haven't got any raincoats. So I go like, oh, we can make it better. We can make it better. We can make it better. We can put a little roof on the front of the, um, the toilet block. And this is the way you get an extended house with just like more and more toilets and eventually I'll turn them into posh toilets. No, I'm not. These are going to be outhouses forevermore, just in case. You don't have to clean the chamber pots and stuff like that. Which is cool. And I'm still frustrated that you're not a juvenile, so I can't. You're still a juvenile, so I can't marry you off to one of the guys in the village or one of the workers to make him my um, not slave is the right word. You know, one of the dudes that lives in the village, but you know, you can make people pregnant and we can get more babies, which is cool. All right, I stick a I stick a few branches to be made to convert those logs into um, convert those logs into branches, just so we got enough. Because I'm I'm branch I'm branch concerned because we've only got like 129 logs. Yeah, I've got a lot of concerns going on in the world. Got to prepare for winter, you know. 12 days of food, and then I check out my little fire, and I'm actually really pleased. I'm actually quite pleased because what 15 degrees centigrade in there that will keep the cows nice and warm, or the cattle, and the and then I'm like, where you going, cow? Where you going? Where you going, man? Or oh, lady? Little lady, where you going? And it's like, I'm going to get some hay. I'm like, oh, I'm satisfied. And I'm like, where are you going, sheep? And it's like, I'm I'm going to get some hay. Oh, or eat grass. I'm like, this is all sufficiently animalistic behaviour, so I'm satisfied that um, you, are, you are doing your role as an animal, which is good. And then, like, these guys are like, hello, all right, all right, mate. Yep. And then I'm checking out the cat. <laughs> I just like walk around doing stuff. It's good. But I'm now in I'm like in in the old uh, predator mode just to uh, check it out check out things. Got a couple more chicks on the way there, which is cool. And then I check out all my oats. I'm like, yep, all right, store those oats. We need them stored. We can't just have them lying around. I, I promise that one day I will actually um, I'll actually sort out 
all those buildings being on all those um, crafting stations being on red exclamation marks I'm like what are you doing and it's like oh you're gonna eat more stuff and then I'm like cat there you go cat are you tamed you are tamed and then I'm like oh you'll see in a sec you'll probably miss the what I was actually looking at here and I'm like you're pregnant the cat is pregnant already and it's like it must be that cat that made it pregnant and I'm like Christian you'll 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 be I reckon tomorrow all things being considered it's time for you to become an adult and now I'm just looking for people potentially to ship her off with so I'm like you're pretty young not you you're too old you're too old you're too you're or actually not too bad I know you're a woman so that's that's not gonna work in this game so um, yeah I think we've got like Murdoch is maybe the maybe the candidate to be to be shipped off to the yeah slow metabolism and an optimist I think Murdoch is the kind of guy I want in the clan it really is I know Kristen I'm not I'm playing your fate but that is just the way it is but I guess this is the point where in the actual real video I, I started saying the normal things that I always say because I've got about 30 seconds to go so I'm gonna say um, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed the commentary I'm very sorry about forgetting to put the uh, microphone stuff on last time I don't know what I was thinking brain fart um, so if you did enjoy that it would be great if you could like subscribe ring the bell all that great stuff it really does help the channel it's most appreciated and what i'll do is i'll leave past alone and hopefully we won't revisit past in a voiceover again so until next time bye